Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this, we are going to start with the very brand new topic named as Z transform. So, let us start with the application of Z transform. So, the very first application of Z transform is in designing digital filters. Okay, like we use Instagram and when we upload a pic over there, then what we do, we uh, apply filters. Okay, so there is a use of Z transform indirectly. It is also used in uh, discrete control path. It is also used in the path trajectory of the radar system. It is mainly used to analyze the digital signals and process the digital data like MP3 file, MP4 files, JPG images, ZIP files and so on. And what exactly this Z transform is going to do is uh, is just going to apply uh, is just going to analyze the digital signals. Earlier we have seen one more transform which is Laplace transform. Laplace transform. And now we are going to learn Z transform. Okay. So, this Laplace transform is used to analyze the analog signals. Analog signals. And whereas the Z transform is used to analyze digital signals okay so these are the two uh, basic idea about laplace transform and z transform okay in laplace transform we have functions to be continuous one in z transform we have in z transform we have function which are continuous continuous functions were there but here in the z transform we would be having discrete discrete functions okay so this is the basic idea to differentiate this laplace transform and the z transform okay so these are the things that uh, one need to remember and what what this Z transform do? It analyzes or it enhance rather it enhance the electrical and mechanical energy to provide the dynamic nature of the system. So if you have any system, then whether it would be stable or it, whether it would be unstable. So these things are uh, given by this Z transform, or uh, we can say it has the it has an application. Okay, now. Why Z transform is called Z? Why Laplace transform is called Laplace transform? These questions you need to answer. Okay. Why Laplace transform is called Laplace transform? Because it was uh, the transform was coined by this Laplace. Okay. But uh, this Z transform, this Z transform is uh, invented by uh, one of the professor. Arabic professor so this Z transform and he wanted to uh, popular uh, make popularize or make the visibility more visibility to this Z transform so why he haven't given the name of uh, his name to this transform uh, rather than Z that I am going to tell you in the upcoming lectures okay so now let us see what is the definition of this Z transform Okay, so let us start with this definition. Definition. So let let Fn or Fn be a sequence be a sequence of be a sequence of 
f0 be the sequence of functions f0 f1 f2 fn then the z transform then the z transform of fn is defined as is defined as z of fn is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n this is the definition of z transform but to understand the definition of z transform you must know what is sequence you must know what is sequence so what is sequence a sequence is nothing but a mapping or a function let me denote it by s so this s a function i am denoting it by s from set of natural number to say any set a is said to be a is said to be a sequence if its domain if its domain is what is it if its domain is set of natural number and codomain or the range is any set okay so that is the definition of what sequence now the moment this any set a becomes the set of real number the set of real number then this function become which is we call it as sequence becomes a real sequence because my set of codomain of my codomain because my codomain is set of real numbers okay so very concrete uh, concept is there of a sequence a mapping or a function whose domain is the set of natural number and codomain is a set of real number is said to be a sequence okay now continuing further so we are given the sequence we denote it by f of n or sometimes fn this is be a sequence of f0 f1 f2 fn then the z transform of fn is defined like this okay where what is this z the z is a complex number where z is a complex number complex okay and z transform of fn z transform of fn is is denoted by f of z or f bar of z so these are the notations okay and this is the definition now just like the laplace transform we are having some of the elementary z transforms of some simple functions okay or we have the elementary z transform so let us see one or two z transform one by one and then we can continue to the next video lecture okay so the very first uh, transform elementary transform is of let me write it as uh, example elementary this comes under elementary z transform okay so example one Prove that z transform of 1 is equal to z upon z minus 1 where modulus of z or absolute value of z should be greater than 1. Okay. So, this is the result we have to prove. Okay. So, before that, I am going to make use of one uh, binomial expansion that you might know okay so let me write it as a note so what i should write i will i will write it as a note so the expansion that i am going to make use of is this 1 minus 
z power minus 1 is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus and so on okay so this is the result i'm going to make use of this is binomial expansion of 1 minus z power minus 1 okay now let us see this uh, result we have to prove z transform of 1 is equal to z upon z minus 1 what we have for the time being we have just the definition so make use of this definition then so so by the definition by the definition we have so by the definition what we have we have z transform of f of n is equal to what is it summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n okay now what we want to prove we want to prove z transform of 1 by the definition we have z z transform of f of n so the next topic uh, the next uh, step would be what is it put f of n is equal to 1 very simple so this gives you z transform of 1 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 into z power minus n right now apply the expansion to this put n is equal to 0 1 2 and so on what you will be getting z power 0 plus z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2 plus z power minus 3 plus and so on okay now i'm gonna make uh even i'm gonna write this uh properly so that you can able to apply the binomial expansion to this reverse binomial expansion you can say okay so what is it i have i am having left hand side is z of 1 is equal to z power 0 anything power 0 is 1 then this is 1 by z plus 1 by z square plus 1 by z cube plus and so on. Now you can uh, compare with this expansion. So what is it? 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube. Okay. To avoid confusion, I can write this result in terms of u also. So let me write it as u. okay so as you can see here in place of u what we have in place of u we have 1 by z okay so you can certainly write this one as 1 minus u what is u 1 by z power minus 1 now you can just take take the lcm so this is z minus 1 by z power minus 1 simple so what it should be it should be z upon z minus 1 therefore z transform of 1 is equal to z upon z minus 1 and this mod of z should be greater than 1 okay because if mod of z is less than 1 or is equal to 1 then it doesn't make any sense okay so this is the one result and i will give you one result that you have to try at home so this is a try this problem so this says try this uh, prove that prove that z transform of k k is any constant is equal to k z upon z minus 1 okay okay where k is constant so very straightforward proof is there you can make use of this to get the another result okay so i hope 
the problems that we have taken is uh, making some sense and if you want we can take one more uh, lecture on this uh, or we can just take one more example on uh, this elementary z transform so let me take one more problem and this is say to be to prove that z transform of n is same as z upon z minus 1 whole square okay and for this i am going to make use of another i am going to make use of another binomial expansion 1 minus u power minus 2 so its expansion gives you 1 plus 2u plus 3u square plus 4u cube plus and so on so let me prove this result very simple proof is there so to prove this we have the definition what we want z of n so what i am going to put put f of n is equal to n so this should be z of n is equal to what is it n into this and then you have to put n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on so put n is equal to 0 so 0 into anything is 0 then 1 into z power minus 1 then plus 2 into z power minus 2 plus 3 into z power minus 3 and so on is it okay now what is it this is what is it this is z 1 plus 1 by z plus 2 by 2 by z square something like that okay so let me write this one 1 plus 1 by z i just need to multiply it by 2 okay and then here i'll have to multiply it by 1 by z power 3 into 3 plus so on now what i am going to make uh, what i am going to do here is i'm i will do one adjustment okay this 0 into anything is 0 so this first term should be just 0 instead of 1 now you just uh, see this uh, last equation so what adjustment i can do here or instead of doing adjustment what i want 1 plus 2 use something so let us take 1 by z common so we remain with 1 plus 2 into 1 by z 1 by z is outside plus 3 1 by z cube 1 by z is outside 1 by z square plus and so on now compare with this expansion so when you compare with this expansion you will be getting what is it 1 by z into 1 minus 1 by z power minus 2 is it okay so this would give you 1 by z into what is it z minus 1 by z power minus 2 which we can write it as 1 by z into z square upon z minus 1 square okay so this 1 z gate cancel with this and at last we will be getting z transform of n is same as z upon z minus 1 whole square provided modulus should be greater than 1 to make this result uh, to make this sense this condition is necessary okay so this is what we have in the introductory z transform and the upcoming uh, video lectures will be taking the properties of z transform and in the next learning video you will see why this z transform is called as z transform so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day